Hey guys, um, just to do a quick video on, uh, I'm going to make a bench vise for my, on my bench. Um, I've, I've seen a couple other ones on YouTube. Uh, looks like a pretty handy little device to have, so I'm going to run through how I'm going to do it. Um, very, very similar to some of the other ones, but uh, my bench has a few challenges that i got to get through because I never really designed the bench with, with it in mind. So we'll go through it and uh, hopefully it'll, you'll find it useful. All right, so did a, a quick a little sketch up of, of my, my setup and what I'm trying to do. So he, at the end here, so basically uh, your, your view. So this is this is looking at the at the, at the end where I'm actually going to be placing the, the uh, vise. And this is across the front, so I had to extend this out. So my bench is basically 66 inches long uh, from here to here. And then it's, it's wide, it's about 33 inches on the top. So I'm going to be adding this bench vise on the far right side. And I have a few challenges because when I designed this bench years and years ago, I was just kind of making something heavy and sturdy, which most of us want, not thinking about adding this, the bench vise on it. So a little bit of a challenge, but um, I guess that'll be the fun part of it. So my bench basically is, is made up of three quarter inch plywood on the top. I've got two by fours underneath supporting it. And then I've got it framed in by two by sixes. And then on, for the, for the, basically for the, legs of it, I had um, four by fours and they're connected by two by sixes from top to bottom with another four by four on the top. So the bench is pretty heavy, pretty, st uh, pretty sturdy, which, which I want. Um, but it does add some challenges because of how I'm going to have to, to run these, basically these bar, these, uh, the, uh, the pipe clamps through, um, and get them to, to work it will be a little bit of a challenge, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so basically my, uh, my bench vise is going to mount, mount to, the, to my right side of my bench. So it'll be on this end. Um, unfortunately, it does sit up against a wall, so we'll limit some of the use of, usability of it, but I think it'll, it'll be pretty handy to have. So um, as I kind of talked before, so I have a, there's a, there's a two by six surrounding my bench. It's basically framed in two by sixes. There's a piece of three quarter inch maple on the top. There's two by fours that run basically across to support the, uh, the, the, the plywood. And so on in each end, my legs are made up of two by sixes. There's a four by four underneath here. And then there's a, a, a four by four on the ground. So this is basically the supporting legs. And my plan is to, um, to build this from, the, the vise is gonna run from the front to near the back, about 31 and a half inches back. So it'll be five and a half by 31 and a half. Um, where I'm gonna go through with the holes for this, well actually, it's somewhat, it's kind of nice because with this four by four, I have a lot of support in there. I won't have to add any additional support. So I just gotta get that hole, um, hole in here, the seven eighths inch hole uh, for, my, for my pipes. And um, I'm using this, this plywood, so I had some scrap plywood laying around. This is a piece I had from uh, an oak, entertainment center I, I recently just destroyed because I have no longer needed it so I ripped it apart and saved some of the, the, the plywood so that's kind of nice to be able to recycle a little bit and reuse so uh, most of this project the only thing I'm really going to be buying is going to be the uh, the pipe clamps themselves so we'll see how it goes
So I completely cut. Um, I did sand. Um, I just wanted to take the uh, take the finish off of the the pieces of plywood that I'm reusing. And I only I only say that the I, I'm going to actually leave this exposed, so both the ends will have the finish. I figured it's on there. We'll just, we'll just do it. So I did cut them. I actually cut them a little bit longer than they needed to be, or a little bit a um, little bit wider. And they're not all exactly the same length, so that I'll just I'll glue them all up first, and then I'll get all trimmed down. That way, I don't have to worry about all the the glue that's gonna come oozing out in a second. So. So I got my black pipe, um, just going to cut her off. I'm cutting my length. I'm going to cut is, is going to be 28 inches. Um, it's going to vary depending on your setup, but that's basically what I figured I would need. Okay, so just a, a quick one on the on the clamps. You, everybody's probably pretty familiar with these, but if not, I'll just go through it fast. Um, I had to go to Home Depot to pick these up. They they ran me. They were a little a little pricey. Uh, I think they're like 14 bucks a piece, so I get tax on it, and you're gonna have to get two of them because you need a pair. So you're looking at $30 for clamps. Um, this this is a half inch. It, the brand is Bessie. Um, there's some other brands out there which I have used, but I can't remember the name right now. But anyway, um, they're pretty equivalent. So the way these go together, this this end, which is, which is actually gonna be on the movable part of my device, this is just gonna go through here. And these these pipes that I cut. They're threaded on each end, so when you cut it, just you have to cut. Make sure you cut one end and the other end, and then it's gonna basically goes in this guy, and it's just, just threaded in. So you just thread it through, and then on the other side, this the side this this piece here is actually gonna go underneath my table. So I'm, I realize that when I when I'm drilling the the holes that I'm going to put the pipes through through the side of my bench, I, I gotta be. It's pretty critical that those be 
level and straight. So I'm just going to make a, just using this little piece of scrap wood, I'm just going to make a little guide, uh, drill guide for, for my, when I drill out those holes. So let's drill this up in here. All right, so I've got my guide bushing head drilled up, and what I'm going to do is I'm just I, I put some electric tape on here, put a nice little red dot on where I want to drill it. So all I need to do is basically get this guy lined up, and let's just kind of get it out there first before we start monkeying with it too much. So get it kind of roughly in place. I'm going to set the clamp on this guy back. Now I just need to sight him in, and that is actually right there. It's actually pretty close. A good guess. All right. So now that I got it clamped in, I'll just put another on here so it doesn't spin on me. I think it will. It'll be a lot of force being put on it. Just hold her. Okay, so we're still there. Now all I gotta do is just kind of drill out my hole. So I'm gonna guide this down, just kind of run it through. Guys off, and I should see a hole right to the middle of that dot. Well, as you can see, there's a, there's the hole that came through. So this is where I have to finish up the the the, the uh, seven eighths hole. Uh, but of course, I've got since I've got my two by fours in the way here, I can't get my drill in there. So fortunately, I do have a right angle drill. And if I didn't, I, I would have some trouble doing this. So basically, I should be able to just get him in here. I'm going to try to drill out this hole. Like I said, I actually put an inch and an eighth hole on here because it, it, again, it just has to get through there. This stud actually moves a little bit, and I might I might screw him down to make sure that doesn't move. It's just meant this for support. So I'm just going to basically just kind of eye it up. All right, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I, I basically removed the, the majority of the glue from the one side. I'm gonna run it, run it through my uh, my joiner once, so I can get a nice um, flat side, and then I'll, then I'll just cut it down with the with the table saw. <laughs> baby down to uh, basically to five and a half. So um, I'm going to do multiple passes. Actually, I've already, <laughs> I already did one pass and uh, uh, I kind of created a blooper moment. So maybe I'll stick it at the end if you want to waste your time to watch it. Go ahead. So here we go. down. Um, actually, I realized I can't quite get 31 and a half out of it, so I'll, it'll probably be closer to 31 by the time we get done. So I have to kind of square up both the ends. So I'll just start with the, with the better of the ends first. And I'll just kind of get him and make sure he's squared up. So I'm going to have to give him a little cut because I can't quite reach him with my saw. Later in here. There we go. Okay. The square side, so let's see what we can get out of it. So we're gonna get 
just under 31. So I'm just going to cut it at 30 and 3 quarters just to be safe. measured in an inch and a half, uh, set, set my miter for a 45, so it'll basically get me halfway through um, on this chamfer, so I'll do both ends and uh, we'll keep going. Actually, it's it's, it's uh, composite decking. I'm gonna use that for the face of my uh, of the end of the bench. I'm gonna basically attach that on there. Um, number one, it's it's basically I want to get that a little bit um, more level. It's 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 got uh, because of the way it's assembled, there's a little bit of irregularities in the in the in that side. So I'm I'm basically gonna screw this onto there. Um, I kind of like it because it actually it's it's got just a little bit of texture into it. So I'm hoping that'll help kind of grab the boards, um, or whatever I hold. Uh, if I find it's too much, and if it maybe scars the board or makes some inference, I could always, I could always lightly send off. There really isn't much there. It's just just a little bit of gripping. So. so here's the the, the veranda. Basically, it's like I said, it's, it, it's a composite decking. It's veranda is the actual name. Had the yeah. It's um, I've had it for years. Just sitting in the, in the middle, so. I thought it would be good to put it in. So, so I've already marked out some places. I'm, I'm basically going to put um, eight screws through it, two, four, six, eight. Um, I'll, and I'll bolt, I'll screw it right onto here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to drill it. I'm going to pre-drill it and I'll countersink. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to mount it, just uh, tack it down. And then I'm going to locate the holes because I get, I get to line up the, the two holes for the pipes to go through. And then I'll take it back off and I'll drill those holes and uh, then we'll reattach it.
Alright, so I decided so to take the uh, the composite board back off. I <laughs> actually I don't know why I screwed it all the way in, but I did. Anyway, so I had to remove it, remove it, but before I did that, I basically went through those back holes and just just enough with the with the seven eighths inch paddle bit, I was able to make a mark um, for the two holes. So I'm going to drill those out here because I really like those to be precise. I'm actually going to drill them out at fifteen sixteenths, um, just so we don't have any issue with binding because if there's any misalignment at all, the the pipes are going to bind in there. So and all the support is really in the in the four by fours and the in the two by six. So. Here we go. All right, so we're going to reattach this. And actually, that was, that was actually kind of interesting. I've never had to do that. But this, this stuff actually mills pretty good. It's um, pretty easy to machine so I'll keep that in mind for any other projects so there wasn't any blowout I was a little worried about how this stuff might blow out when I went through with that with that whole um, drill and as you can see basically it looks looks really nice I and mean, this actually I guess I drilled from this side so I came out here but there's no absolutely no blowout at all so kind of slick so let's see if we can get this reattached and to do that I'm just going to start a few of these screws I should be able to just find their home. All right, so I, I came up with some new ideas. Um, as I, was doing, I was looking to put the bench dogs in, but I, I realized that I kind of would rather just put a stop in there that, was, that would be hidden away. So what I'm planning on doing, and if I would have thought of this early, it would have been pretty easy. But um, So I'm planning on just routing out a uh, basically a three-quarter inch slot in this that I can embed a, uh, just a basic piece of oak. Um, and I'm gonna, so then I can basically, uh, once I have that routed out, I can slide that up and down so inside it will just go up and down so I can set it flush or I can move it up. And then I'm going to, I'll basically have some threaded inserts, so I'll just put a, a couple threaded inserts in here and I'll notch out here and then I can uh, put some thumb screws on there and then I can just lift it up, tighten them down, keep it in place, loosen them up, drop it out of the way. So I thought that would be kind of a slick idea um, versus using just a, the regular bench dog. So, um, the challenge is, is getting that now. Now I have to route that. Um, it's I, I want to get it pretty deep, so I'll just have to kind of go on the limits of how deep I can go with my bit because it gets a little dangerous, of course, as you as you extend that bit out too far. So we'll see how far we can get with it and uh, go from there. So what I've decided to do, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna add a stop onto the top of my my vise here. So I'm gonna slot in. A, a channel basically with my with my router so it's about it's gonna be about 20 about 21 inches wide um, I think I'm gonna go three quarters wide but um, for the oak but I might I might go a little thinner than that um, it just depends on how it, how, how it looks I, I have a half inch basically a straight bit in there right now so I have actually got I've got a, a short one in there now and I've actually had to go out and buy a, a two and a half inch because I gotta get I want to get pretty deep on this because like this is a, isn't actually the piece of oak I'm using but I'm going to use a piece of oak that's probably at least two inches um, wide. Um, then I'm going to I'm going to basically slot this. I've got some threaded inserts, some quarter twenty threaded inserts. I'm going to embed into the oak. And then once that's slotted over here, I'll just basically add some some a couple you know quarter twenty bolts, and I'll use those to to, to set this guy up and down. Um, so normally it'll just this thing will be sitting flush inside of of here, and then if I need to adjust them up, I can use them as a stop. So. Um, I've got uh, I've got everything set up on my router, so I've, I've kind of had to do a few things here, which is maybe difficult to see. But I so I basically set up just this piece as a guide, so I get that that clamp down. I have a, a stop on the end, and then I have a, basically where I'm going to start that. So it's going to be a little difficult to start because I'm going to plunge into this guy. So as I'm coming down, I'm actually coming at a slight angle. So the plan is once once I get it in there, I'll be able to hit that back stop and make sure I get the same the same. Um, stroke on each one of these so we'll give it a shot
So I wrote it out as deep as I can go with my uh, with the, the smaller bit, which is basically a one inch bit. So I'm basically just a little over an inch in depth. So I've I've added which you can't see in here, but I've got basically my my new uh, two and a half inch bit down. So it's it's set to about an inch and a quarter right now. So I'm going to just creep it up, take a lot of small passes, just to be sure. It's that's a really long bit, so you got to be real real careful. You don't want to put any side stress on it, or you're going to break it. Which um, Fortunately, the way I'm doing this, it's, it's pretty safe because it's all encased inside of here. But. So I'm So I got a little bit of planing to do. So basically the, the slot I ended up opening up just a little bit. It's it's just under five eighths of an inch. So I got some three quarter inch uh, oak. So I'll I'll plane it down until it's it's basically good. I, I get a nice uh, fit on this thing. Um, after that I'll need to I'll need to basically because there's a radius on each end. So I'll cut it to the exact length. I'll put a radius on there. I'll just I'll probably just do that um, using my my uh, belt sander. Just. To So we should try to make the, the radius fit on the, into the radius of this. So it'll just takes a little time, a little patience. So I've marked and I'm ready to go. This is this is going to be the, the basically the stop in the, the device. So I basically marked the holes I'm going to put. So that's where I'm going to put the inserts. So I'm going to drill a, a 7 16 hole for my inserts, and uh, then we'll put those in next. I'm going to well, I'm going to cut the uh, the slots in the in the face of the vise. So um, starting at three quarter inches in, and I go up about an inch and an eighth. So I got a quarter inch spiral bit in here. So I'm going to take a couple passes to get to get through. Um, and I've got everything all basically just all configured. It took me a while to get everything just right, get everything squared up. So I should should be able to just drop her down, plunge it in, and rope through it. Okay, so I'm going to insert the these uh, inserts, these threaded inserts, into the the oak piece. Um, so I had to drill it out. Actually, the the hole I, I was actually too small. These actually required us a uh, 15 30 second hole, so I had to drill this out a little bit. Um, they're still going to be pretty tight because this being hardwood, it's kind of difficult to get in. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I know that the the real issue is making sure you try to keep them square, which is kind of difficult. But I'll I'll see how I can do here. Okay. 
All right, so I have the basically the, the stop done. So here's the the two pin uh, or the the uh, the inserts are are in, and so to basically assemble it's pretty pretty basic. Just just kind of slides in here. Now this thing will fall all the way down. So I basically just have to get them in here and uh, line up these bolt poles. So once they're in, you, know, you kind of get a, got to get them on the pin, and up it comes. And I and I can just basically set it in place. If you just you can, you can tighten up the beats you know, right and left, so now it should stay up. And then to loosen it, and then so kind of slick. I thought it was kind of a nice idea. So. Okay, so you can see I, I have my uh, my uh, vice basically temporarily clamped on. I'm actually using the pipe clamp so I'm using for the vice just to hold it in place. So I got it all kind of leveled and, and set where I want it to be. Um, but I have, now I have to drill those the seven eighths inch holes that the, the pipes are going to go through on each side. And since they're actually pretty critical because everything has to be in alignment, you don't want a binding. Um, I was kind of trying to figure out how to do that um, because basically I have um, the the basically it's a piece of five eighths inch decking going through a two by six going through a four by four. So I've got a I got a long way to travel. So and then I got to get all the way through the um, the vice itself. So what I plan to do is I'm just going to now that I got it mounted up, I'm going to take a can of spray paint and I'm just going to shoot it in the holes from the rear end and hopefully it'll mark. Um, where I need to get this thing drilled out, so I'll, I'll move you over and we'll take a we'll take a shot at it. So there you can you can see the hole. So here's here's one and there's one over here which you, you can't see, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't know if this will work or not, but it's worth a go. So there it is. Actually, I I can't see the outline, so I think I should be able to drill those out. So. I'm going to put that on my bench press and I'll use a Forstner bit and just drill through her. Okay, so I drilled out the, the holes, I drilled the, the two holes for the, uh, that the pipes are going to go through on the, on the drill press. So the, the, the little paint trick did the trick, so it worked, worked out pretty well. I kind of dry fit it once, so I'll just show you what it takes to put it together. It's, it, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll let you watch me struggle to do this because it's kind of difficult to to get the pipes through, but that's just a setup. So basic, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna run these these pipes from the front, you're gonna go through each of these holes, and then on the other side, behind this, this there's a four by four in here, this this piece goes on, so it, it goes on, and then you just basically just got this little the, the locking clip. So basically you gotta slide that through, get those lined up, slide them up. Um, and then once you get them in place, these are actually going to get. I'm, I'm going to uh, drill a hole in these and, and tap or uh, attach them to the to the four x four. So th these don't these won't actually move. They'll be stationary. So for now, I'm just I'm just going to put them in uh, without attaching them. But it'll, it'll it'll work fine. So here we go. So once you get them, once you get them adjusted, you want to, you really wanted to mess with that, um, unless you want to work with a very long piece. So basically, I I'll, I'll just set it at what I'll typically would be, which will be able to, I'll get the full travel, whatever this, the screw length is. So we'll do two, you know, we'll move up to about four inches. So if anything bigger, I can actually get underneath there, pull this out quite a bit if I need to. Probably won't do that much, but it, it's, it's available. So then once you have, you drop your pieces in place. She's in there, and almost the table out. So it's pretty, uh, pretty solid. Um, I still have my, uh, I have them in there. I have them locked down right now, so they wouldn't move around. I was messing with it. 
but here's the, the stock is still in here. So basically I can use that. I still have to install my, uh, some bench dogs in it. I haven't done that yet. I'll do this some other day. But so the stops up here, we can, I could use it if I had a piece of material in here that I, I take it out like that, set it up against this, clamp it and pull it in. Great for uh, sanding on or plating. So, um, I, I really like the way it turned out. It's it's going to be a handy little device to have. If you really need some clamping force, you got some larger pieces of, of wood that you need to get in there. This is a this is a great inexpensive way of doing it. So, again, I have probably the most expensive part is just the pipe clamps, and they are about you know thirty bucks a piece for uh, for both of them. And then and get all the other wood I basically had sitting around. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, um, or leave, leave a comment for me. Um, and I hope you found it informative. Thanks. All right, so I'm going to rip this uh, rip this piece down. <laughs> Bless it.